Welcome to the presentation of Diffusion MRI specific pre training by self supervision on an auxiliary data set. I'm Leon Wieninger from the Institute of Computer Vision from LWT Aachen University. Diffusion MRI is a critical non invasive tool to gather important insights into the human brain. In recent years, various deep learning approaches have been presented that increase the robustness and quality of diffusion MRI derived insights into the human brain. However, deep learning is quite data intensive and diffusion MRI data is always scanner and acquisition setting dependent. Thus, without transfer learning, only a limited amount of data is available for clinical applications. Further, the specific 3D tensor data of diffusion MRI is quite different from other medical images and thus necessitates a special treatment in pre-training, thus a modality-specific pre-training procedure. We here present uh, a possible pre-training procedure based on an auxiliary data set of high quality images that we randomly distort with um, artifacts often found in clinical images, such as eddy currents, ghosting, motion artifacts, bias fields, and Gaussian noises, and then train an autoencoder to reconstruct the original undistorted image from this distorted images. In the bottom row, we see such an example. On the left side, the original image, and on the right side, three distorted images where the autoencoder needs to re um, remove this noise. Applying this to um, actual deep learning tasks, we chose three different tasks, segmenta a segmentation task, a fiber direction regression task, and a fiber crossing um, detection task. In the top row, we see the test set results for all three tasks segmentation task, the number of a peaks task, and the direction of the largest peak. Um, and these final scores were averaged over four different training ones, each with, with uh, eight test images. Our proposed training scheme outperforms the random initialization in all three cases, and also outperforms the classic autoencoder treat pre-training in two of the three cases. In the bottom row, we further see um, the validation loss during training over the course of 300 epochs. And we see that with our pre-training procedure, the training uh, process is more consistent and shows less overfitting behavior. So to sum up, our domain-specific pre-training stabilizes the training process and improves the performance of deep learning in diffusion MOI tasks. So specifically, it should be applied in data sets with limited amount of training data such as clinical uh, small clinical studies.